Sleep of the Silicon Princes by Lita Gold Scene, a nursery Elon Musk And then I'll build a castle on Mars with domes and malls and oxygen tanks and everyone will fly there on my special rockets. I'll be a very good king. Everyone will agree with my ideas and we won't have any fights. And there will be an endless series of blonde princesses who love me, each one younger and blonder than the last. I'm going to be the king of Mars, and my cities will stand forever in the red desert long after I'm gone. Mother, quoting as she tucks him in, I am Ozymandias, king of kings. Musk. And what's the rest? What happened to the king of kings? Mother. Never mind, sweetheart. Go to sleep. Ray Kurzweil. Well, I won't die on Mars, or anywhere else. I won't ever die. I'll upload my brain into a server and live for eternity in the cloud. Mother. Uh-huh. So you'll be a robot? Kurzweil. Ugh. Not a robot, Mom. Jeez. I'll be a living haze of digital data. An ocean of eternally fractaling consciousness. My genius won't be lost with my mortality. All my brilliant thoughts will endure. Will it disperse and penetrate the cosmos? Mother. So you won't have a body anymore. So I won't be able to pinch those widow rosy cheeks. Kurzweil, squirming away. Mom! That's the whole point. I won't have a body, so I won't be touchable. Death won't be able to find me. Memories won't be able to hurt me. I won't even have to poop anymore. Poop is gross. We won't have poop, only consciousness. Everyone's consciousness will all be mixed together when we're a single, eternal being. Everyone will acknowledge my brilliance. They won't be able to avoid it. They won't have a choice. Mother. And you'll have to acknowledge everybody else, too. Kurzweil. What? Mother. Well, if everyone's brains are swirling together, you'll have to acknowledge everybody else and listen to everybody else. If all minds are one, you won't stand out. You won't be special. Kurzweil. Obviously, obviously, I'll still be special. I'll always be special. Mother. <sighs> oh yes, my special boys. I probably told you that too much when you were younger, but I couldn't help it. You were all so talented in your little ways. Musk. Little ways? Mother. Well, you know, you're clever, imaginative little boys, but that doesn't mean... Look, when you're very good at a particular subject, it's easy to convince yourself you're an expert in everything, especially when when a fond mother constantly tells you how special you are. I'm sorry, this is partially my fault. Boys, together, everything is your fault. Elidza Yudkowsky, soon enough, we won't have to put up with you anymore. Any day now, my computer will summon up the omnipotent father. He'll fix all our problems in a wink and banish you to the center of the earth. Mother. Uh-huh. And perfect daddy will love you like I do. He'll tuck you in at night and listen to your ideas. End.